Hello everyone, my name is Joe Beer and I'm with Beer Meters and today we're going to discuss using our VD-1000P. The VD-1000P kit comes standard with the device itself, a combination universal grip all adapter, a stainless steel straight probe, and a stainless steel standard hook probe. All of this is inside a foam filled durable waterproof case. The unique beer bushing adapter will be used in this video for all URD applications. Beer highly recommends the user never uses another manufacturer bushing adapter in conjunction with beer devices. Also, beer has available metal grip all adapters. metal universal adapters, our standard 16 inch zero extension probe, a 24 inch zero extension probe, and unique hard to reach zero extensions that are available upon request. Beer also manufactures an easy to use nine volt battery operated power supply for a live or hot tool operating verification. The VD-1000P operates using a metal conductive probe tip, an extremely high resistance probe with an inscribed line to illustrate the minimum distance any grounded or energized surface should be in reference to the VD-1000P housing. The device has a metal live line hot stick adapter with a 9 volt battery located behind. Just unthread to access the battery. The five position selector switch is located on the back of the device. The first switch position is the off position and should be used for storage and transit. Always turn the device off when not using to conserve battery life. The VD-1000P will automatically turn off when the battery is near 6.5 volts. The second switch position is P, which stands for proximity. The proximity setting is an extremely sensitive voltage sensing switch position. It can be used normally for all hot or not situations, while incidental direct contact will not hurt the device. The third switch position is URD which stands for Underground Residential Distribution. This calibrated switch position should only be used for any work methods where the tool will be within 10 to 12 feet or less of earth or a large ground plane. The fourth switch position is OH, which stands for Overhead. This calibrated switch position should be used for any work methods beyond 12 feet up to approximately 40 feet above earth or any large ground plane. The fifth or last switch position is OHT. OHT stands for Overhead Transmission. This calibrated switch position should only be used for work methods beyond approximately 40 feet above earth. Each time the selector switch is moved from one switch position to the next off of off, the device performs a self LED check and displays the battery voltage level. Our first work method will be to verify a de-energized phase in this three-phase pad mount. Beer highly encourages the operator to perform a known live check before operating the VD-1000P. Since we are verifying for de-energized in the three-phase pad mount behind us, we want to select the URD switch position. Then touch the known live source directly to the tool's conductive probe tip. Beaver's handheld power supply is an extremely low power device, so we're demonstrating this barehanded. Please follow all your utility safety guidelines while performing this test. A normal test while holding the device barehanded or gloved should read approximately 2.5 kV.
To ensure a safe and proper URD reading, we must install the beer bushing adapter. Be sure the adapter is threaded all the way onto the probe to at least the inscribed line over the conductive probe tip. With the VD1000P attached to the bushing adapter, we can check for a de-energized phase in our three-phase pad mount. With the bushing adapter fully inserted, verify there is no potential. Remember to perform your live check after the de-energized check to verify the tool is operating properly. Our next check is to verify an energized phase in our three-phase pad mount. The operating voltage in this system is 13.8 kV phase to ground. Beer intentionally manufactures the VD1000P to read a little high above nominal voltage under normal operating conditions. Since all single probe devices like the VD1000P must capacitively couple to ground in order to achieve a nominal voltage display or reading, notice how my body can adversely affect the tool's operation if I'm not operating in a safe manner. Beer highly encourages, at minimum, to maintain a minimum approach distance from any ground potential object such as my body or the transformer cabinet. To safely overcome the inherent close proximities in utility power control devices, such as this three-phase pad mount, Beer encourages the operator to include a zero-ohm extension in conjunction with the VD1000P. Simply thread the zero-ohm extension into the VD1000 probe tip so an additional 16 inches of distance safely puts the VD1000P housing away from the three-phase pad mount cabinet or ground plane. Include the bushing adapter to the end of the zero-ohm extension. Notice now in our energized verification, the KV reading is much closer to the operating system voltage of 13.8, and we are operating in a much more safe manner. The increased distance to the three-phase cabinet permits this much more accurate reading. Even though metal adapters can be used in conjunction with the VD1000P, Vera will demonstrate how adding a conductive metal surface will increase the nominal voltage display. The larger the metal surface is to the housing, such as this grip ball adapter, the higher the reading. The next demonstration will be using the VD1000P in the P or proximity switch position. Performing a live voltage test in this switch position can be done two ways. First, at various distances, with the handheld button depressed, the VD1000P display will increase or decrease while the handheld power supply is moved closer or further away. Second, the VD1000P can contact the handheld power supply and all nines should be displayed. Remember, direct contact to any potential in the P switch position does not hurt the device. With the VD1000P in this P switch position and previously tested with a handheld power supply, we will verify if a phase is energized in this three phase pad mount. Remember, an increase in numbers off of zero indicates potential. With a three-phase cabinet energized and a capacitive test point cap exposed, we will verify if a phase is energized in the P-switch position. Beer highly encourages the user to remember to use a handheld power supply before and after performing this work method because capacitive test points can go bad. Notice the readings increase with closer proximity to the capacitive test point and all nines with direct contact.
With the VD1000P still in the P or proximity switch position, we can test for energized on these 120-208 secondary spades. Again, notice if we make direct contact how the device displays all nines. Notice the reading on the neutral spade. The reading won't quite go to zero because of the close proximity to the energized spade. Using the VD1000P on overhead conductors is normally accomplished using the standard hook probe so the device can easily land on the conductor. With the VD1000P in the OH or overhead switch position, an energized nominal system voltage is displayed. Since Beerus training yard overhead conductors are not normal distribution height above earth and much closer, the reading is therefore higher than normal since the device can better or more easily couple to the earth ground plane. To achieve the most accurate nominal voltage readings in the OH switch or OHT switch positions, always keep the device perpendicular to the energized conductor. Never turn or orient the VD1000P parallel to an energized conductor, as the reading will decrease the more parallel the orientation. Also, if working from the ground on a vertical bus or conductor, expect a lower than normal reading. Beerer encourages the user to follow the bus or conductor out to a horizontal run for a more accurate nominal reading. Using the VD1000P in the P or proximity switch position on energized overhead conductors will demonstrate how sensitive this switch position is. Numbers will begin to display on the device well past the minimum approach distance and all nines will display on the device well before the device makes physical contact with the conductor. If you should have any questions using the VD1000P, please let us know by calling us at 803-786-4839 or emailing us at customer underscore service at beerermeters.com. Thank you, stay safe, and have a great day.